Today, I'm going to give you my four best side hustle ideas for 2023 that anyone can start. These have the potential of making you $100 to $1,000 per day, and all you have to do is just pick the one that you like and get started. Now, the first one is not the most glamorous, but it definitely pays well. There are over 76 million dogs in the US alone, and that means with an average of 2.4 dogs per household, every time the owners are either on vacation or too busy to walk them, they either end up neglecting their pets or they have to pay someone to do that job for them. Rover.com brings in over 9 million visits per month, and some of the people who have signed up are making between 15 and $135 per client they work with per day. Ryan Trahan used this money-making method in his challenge series and it worked quite well for him. One example is Mike who is charging about $26 per walk and has over 630 reviews and 221 repeat clients. The price range does also vary depending on the type of service you're offering. Simple services like dog walks usually pay about $15 to $25 per walk and more time-consuming services like boarding can pay up to $135 a night. With all of the horror stories from the dog sitting facilities, there's a growing demand for this personalized in-home pet sitting service. I used this exact service for my dog, Bo, when I went to Hawaii, and it cost about $600 for the whole week. And on top of that, the pet sitter was also watching a few other dogs, so she was definitely making some decent money. And if you're willing to, you could host several dogs at the same time, meaning at about $100 per dog per night. If you're watching three to four dogs at a time, this can be highly profitable. If you're a psychopath and you don't like dogs, they also have the same services for cats. But there's also a bit of flexibility because if you don't want the dogs in your own home, you can list a service for house sitting. This sitter charges $80 a night and has 10 repeat clients and 27 reviews. But even better, one of the reviews says that she was house sitting for 22 days, which means she got paid nearly $2,000 just to watch a couple of cats. The best part is you could start side hustle number two from your laptop while you're relaxing in someone else's home. And assuming that you're able to bum their Wi-Fi password, you could start selling digital art. Side hustle number two. The example shop that I'm about to show you is doing about $900 a day in profit. Not revenue, profit. Now I've actually done a video already explaining how to start this business, but here's a brief rundown of how it works. We have to come up with some kind of art to sell. If you're not a designer, we can take some piece of art that's either public domain or generated using an AI like Midjourney. Then all we would have to do is upload it to a website like Etsy, and with a good looking mockup, we set it as a digital file. And now if someone comes along and purchases it from us, they get the download link to the image and we get to keep the profit. When we actually get a sale, Etsy's going to take roughly 9% to cover all of the transaction and listing fees, and the rest is completely profit. Now, I found this shop on Etsy, which has over 277,000 sales. Now, they've been on Etsy since 2020, and they actually got their first review on August 12th of 2020. So that means that they've been on Etsy for about 908 days, which means if we divide their amount of sales by the amount of time that they've been on Etsy, they're doing an average of about 305 sales per day. So at $3 a piece on average, they're making about $916 per day, or about $832,000 over the last three years. Some of their best-selling collections sell for over $10 a piece, so you can imagine how much they're actually making. Now, because they don't have any physical products, that means hardly any customer service, and because they don't have any product costs, they're probably looking at about a 91% profit margin. For all of those orders, the customer just gets a download link and the seller gets a profit. So after they create and post the art, it's probably as close to true passive income as you can get without just buying a dividend stock. Now, some of the biggest creators like Mr. Beast, Arak, Isaiah Photo, and Alex Ramosi are all using the same kind of short video editing style, and smaller creators want to achieve the same results. Now, the three components that really make these short kind of videos work are the fast edits, which are fairly straightforward, the music, which is also fairly straightforward, and the captions and emojis that people add right in the center of the screen. Now, since creating the captions like this is the hardest part of the process, let me show you how you can automate it. Let's say you advertise this kind of service online somewhere like Fiverr. Now you could do direct contacts like emails or DMs, but just to keep it simple, let's advertise on Fiverr. There's already people listing this type of service and they're already getting reviews. The skills you would have to learn is how to cut up the videos and make it fast paced and understandable, adding things like 
like emojis, and the hardest part is making these center style graphics. Now in this example, I'm gonna use Premiere Pro, but I'm sure you could find a very similar alternative like DaVinci Resolve and get an almost identical result. After the customer orders from you and you get their video file, here's basically how it would work. You'll import their video and make all of the cuts and edits that you need, but the main feature we're looking at is after all of the cuts have been made, all you'll need to do is use the AI to transcribe the video. When it's done, we just create really short captions tracks and then upgrade them from captions to graphics. This will allow us to add effects like movements, colors, and stylization to all of our captions all at once. Now basically we save all of our font choices, emojis, sound effects, and music to a file and then we can use them as presets for all of our future jobs. This means that each time you get a job, all you really have to do is make the quick edits, transcribe the sequence, and then apply your presets to all of the captions. Instead of having to type out the entire transcript or manually create the captions, we can leverage the program to do all of the hard work for us. There's obviously a lot of money to be made here because you could scale this short video editing business into a full scale social media marketing agency. If you guys leave enough comments down below so I can see there's enough interest, I'll make a full video tutorial on how you can do this and really automate the entire process. Now, in my opinion, the best side hustles are the ones that you can start with as little time as possible that can scale into a full-time income. I'm sure everyone has heard about dropshipping at this point, but the fourth side hustle idea is to start a print-on-demand business. It's basically just a subcategory of traditional dropshipping. I think that this is probably the cheapest and easiest business that anyone could get started with. But what is print on demand? The way this works is you pick to work with a supplier who has a large variety of unbranded products like t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, and posters. Your job is to upload some kind of artwork or design to one of those products and then list it for sale somewhere online. For example, if you signed up for a Printify account and linked it together with an Etsy shop, after you upload one of your designs to a Printify product and hit publish to your store, it's automatically made a listing on your Etsy shop that's ready for someone to buy. The cool thing is you don't have to keep any inventory or buy any products ahead of time. The only time you'll have to pay for the product is after the customer finds and buys one of your items. I've gotten away without running a single ad over the last two years, and I've generated over seven figures completely from organic traffic. This is the exact same strategy that I'm using to grow my zero to $100,000 shop right here on YouTube. This business model definitely isn't going anywhere as it's projected to be a $10 billion industry by 2025. Also meaning it's more possible than ever for you to make a comfortable six-figure income just from selling t-shirts without even worrying about all of the other products. There's also a lot of websites that you can list your designs for sale on, like Redbubble, Society6, and even Merch by Amazon, because the 20 cent listing fee does add up when you're making a lot of designs and posting them to Etsy. Now, you don't even have to be a graphic designer to make this business work. I started this side hustle a while back, and now I'm consistently making multiple six figures each year. Designs I made and posted a couple years ago will continue to sell today, and I wasn't even a graphic designer, and in my opinion, my designs were pretty horrible. Depending on the products that you're selling, there's also options like selling public domain or AI generated art using Midjourney. I've made videos on these topics as well, which you should go watch now.